looking at it. Well, the weekend has arrived. East too long weekend. Kind of different now that uh, we're all isolating and keeping social distance. I couldn't isolate any longer. I'm going a little nuts. So, so back to the river. Beautiful day out. Nobody's out here, not a single vehicle. I haven't seen a single person. Can't complain. Oh, ain't that a pretty sight? That's the tarp in the trees. Definitely crossable today. I gotta go this way. I'll hike up through here. And then head up that side of the river. To the beauty spot. Oh, I made it, made it. Beautiful day on the river. It's gorgeous. Out oh, first spot only showed me three little pieces. So I found a new little bedrock crevice that I'm gonna work out here. Goes up and underneath. And hopefully, hopefully there's some shiny stuff in there. Well, there's that big slab finally out of the way. And there's what was under it. Washed it down. We got a full bucket of material out of that. There she is. We pan her out. See what we got. Little a little thrown off. You know, you're for three hours and I haven't seen more than four pieces of color so far. So, this is the telltale. I've, I don't see color in this one. I'm going up a fair ways, I think. And time wise, I don't know what that's going to lead me once I get to that spot. But, yeah. Here's hoping this pan's got some color. Fingers crossed. I'm most definitely not winning. I'm not winning at all. I just did so much work and I, I might have six pieces of fly poop. So, no way to get to the other side of the river again. Just to cross the river, down river. So I gotta walk down river just to go up river. Huh. Interesting. All right, well. I'm gonna go down river. I may as well go test that gravel bar on that inside bed. Oh. Somewhere through here. It's over there. Found this one a couple years ago. I can't believe it's still there. That's a big, big chunk of quartz. Look at that thing. Well, this is that inside bend. And I'm gonna have check around this area here I think and do a couple pans hopefully see some color I'm running out of options and ideas to begin honest there's some bedrock across the way shallow spot I believe is right there to where the feeder creek comes in there's a massive hole over there that's the way I'm gonna leave so I'll show you that on the way out well, so I've made that gravel bar for a bit now. Oh, I'm thirsty. Heart. Still nice out, nicely in the shade now. I decided to just dig a random hole in the middle of the inside bed. And, uh, it's going in there pretty deep so far. And I'm getting some nice tight lock gravels in there. Skin them out by hand. Getting rid of the big rocks, getting ready to put them back in when I'm done. And a uh, little panning station over there. And uh, I did get a nice piece in the first pan, so hoping this next bucket uh, has some more too. Anyways, I gotta take a quick break and then uh, hustle, hustle, learn that time. I uh, didn't see enough gold today, so I got catching up to do. All right, hope everybody else got out this weekend. I tried to with all the uh, closures and lockdowns of things. At least sit outside in the sun if you're you can. digging for gold and you're digging all these ankle breakers. Make sure you fill them in. Try to make it look like you were there. Gives a good reputation to the hobby. Keeps everybody off the backs. Let's just enjoy the fun we have. And then nobody gets hurt. All right, time to fill her in. I'm gonna move on. Test one more spot in the sitting area. Hand out those two buckets right there. Let's see what I get. Uh, the color's tapering off on me, so uh, 
I'm gonna film the whole now. Just gives me a bit more time to plan later. All right. It only takes like two minutes to fill your holes, folks. Two minutes. If that. It'll make it look good. All right, I am to test pans. The last two buckets. I know someone's putting some serious effort into there. Wow. That was a lot deeper than it looks. Got a little wet in that one. All right. Monte rendezvous point. Up the old creep pit. here and then part of the tent stuff over here. Someone's been doing stuff over there. 